Hello, my name is Josh Atkinson, and you have once again found my portrait painting YouTube channel. We are doing another horror video today, specifically <laughs> my deranged Santa Claus from an episode of Tales from the Crypt. The actor is uh, Larry Drake, who you may know from Dr. Giggles, and um, I don't know, maybe other things, but that's what I know him from. Anyway. So I uh, wanted to do something for the holidays, and and uh, without further ado, let's just move over to the time lapse. So this is the source image, and now for time lapse. I am starting with yep with my Andrew Loomis circle situating his eye line where it should be. He's looking kind of dead on or straight on so so i just put the eye line in the direct center of the circle um this is my uh, uh i wanted to do a, a christmas painting that was uh you know festive but also in keeping with what this channel tends to be mostly horror and drag portraits um this is from i want to say the second episode of tales from the crypt um I think it's called All Through the Night. I think so. Don't quote me on that. I haven't done my research because this is my YouTube channel and I don't have to be responsible. Um, but what I do know is that the actor who plays the deranged Santa Claus, who I'm painting now, I grew up watching this dude because he was Dr. Giggles. Dr. Giggles was a moment in time uh, for early 90s horror and it's completely understandable if you haven't seen it. I haven't seen it in a very long time, but I recall it being messed up and fun and and uh, not really festive, but, but enjoyable all the same. So yeah, I am contending with the competing light sources for this image. Um, you can see he's got light hitting the right side of his face and more shadow on the left, but you can also see that there's, I guess, ambient lighting, sort of blue tinged light coming from below, uh, hitting, you know, under his, under the, the rounder part of his cheeks, under the rounder part of his occipital, I don't know, eye bags, I don't remember the fancy word, a little bit under his lips and chin, and later on in the white part of the Santa hat. Um... Yeah, I'm just, uh, it's, it's a little confusing because the shadow that would typically go, uh, establishing like the upper eyelid actually goes on the lower one because the light is coming from below. Um, but I guess when, when you're painting, as often happens when you're painting a, a, an image from a movie or a TV show, they're not set up for ideal portrait lighting. They have multiple light sources, oftentimes diffuse light. And so when that happens, you have to just kind of paint what you see. But even as I say that, you have to, it helps paint what you see, yes, but have a, a fair understanding of like facial anatomy of, of you know, uh, I mean, just all of it, you know, where the, a little line next to his mouth and the uh the eye bags which is not a nice way to say it whatever i have them to but uh if you know what to look for then it's easier to render what you're seeing accurately so i guess i kind of hesitate to use that expression of paying what you see because you you can't necessarily you can't just do it if you don't know what it is yet but anyway I'm going with my phthalo blue for the uh, the uh, light from below. I say in almost every video, I much prefer phthalo blue to ultramarine. I say that all the time because for my whole life, I was team ultramarine. And then just last year, I tried team, Th or I got on team phthalo blue. And I was just so impressed. It's so much more rich and saturated. And uh, it can really overwhelm uh, white paint. So tread lightly. 
But yeah, I wanted to do something festive for the channel. Um, because I... Well, because I love the holidays. I didn't get to do... Um, I wanted to paint a jack-o'-lantern for Christmas. And I just didn't get things together in time. I put up my first video the week of Christmas. And it was... Well, actually, it was a monster from another anthology show. It was the, uh, the trick-or-treat goblin creature from um, Tales from the Dark Side. Uh, you can go watch that if you feel so inclined. But, um, but yeah, I wanted to do something horror and and uh, Christmassy. As always, I, I just try to paint a few strands of hair into wet paint, and it never works. So I will get to that later on in the video. I tend to use a hog hair fan brush. Um, that is my... Uh, answer for like creating realistic hair um the patterning the strands all that but i always try anyway beforehand with a much bigger brush and then i have to go back and fix it i don't question my methods you're welcome to you can leave questions in the comments section below yeah adding the highlight to his eyes that does just always knock it closer into like realism and it, it, it always makes things so much more dimensional but there are a lot more shadows in a, in a human eyeball than you'd think like you have if you look at the right eye like it's a lighter the white around the eye uh the white of the eye i guess is lighter than the white of the eye on the left side because there's less light on the left side and given that the eyeball is round if the light is coming from below the highlight would be hitting the lower half of that sphere. I've come to really love painting teeth. Now, that said, it's mostly in horror contexts where where the characters have really hideous teeth. Um, you know, American characters, you know, people who don't have, you know, health insurance can't go to the doctor, can't go to the dentist, I mean. Um, I haven't been in a while, but my teeth don't look quite as bad as this Santa Claus yet. Yet. But, um... Have you seen this episode? It's 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 worth watching. I found it on Daily Motion or something. I'd seen it before. And it's actually a remake of um a Tales from the Crypt movie from the 70s with I want to say Joan Collins, but do I mean Jackie Collins? I'm a little ignorant. I get my Jay Collins is confused. I know one's an author and one's an actress. Was were they both actresses at one point? I don't know. Anyway, she's in it. Um, it's a really fun, twisted episode by the director of Forrest Gump, if memory serves. So, I guess, talk about range. I do love the doing the hair in this one, because you get the some blood in his hair and some of the ambient blue lighting, which really makes the face, it gives it a, a cohesion um, once you add it to the hair. Um, yeah the shadow yeah you know what i'm happy about this painting i like this painting i do try to you can't see it my head's blocking it but there's a, a door behind santa and i tried to do a little suggestion of it but it just it was distracting from the focal point which is his beautiful face and uh well there we have it tales from the crypt santa claus and this is the final painting, an 8x12 oil painting. So, that is how we have arrived at at my um, escaped lunatic Santa Claus. Um, I hope that you have a, a lovely holiday season. I hope that it doesn't involve any anybody like this, unless, you know, unless you're into that. It'd be kind of fun. Um, yeah, I hope you learned something about painting. I do also hope that you will leave comments so that I know what to talk about in the next video. And I would really love for Christmas. For Christmas, Dawn! That's a reference. I should paint divine. That's a good idea. Anyway, um, I would love it if you would click the subscribe button. For Christmas, Dawn. All right. Goodbye. Thank you.